This is Jordan with Freshvine, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to email a group. So once you're logged in, we're going to navigate over to Groups, and you can either get to it by clicking List Group or Select Group, All Groups, and right now we're going to use Jordan Small Group. And from here, we can see the roster, create an event, and create an email. So right now we're going to go and create a new email. Now you can see we have the option to select which email address this email will appear it's coming from. I do not have access to the church email. Um, I would have to personally go and verify it to be able to do this. But I, since I put my personal email address in for the group email, that's what I'm going to use right now. You can also select which email address people can reply to. And right now my only option is group and that's exactly what I want anyway. The message privacy status basically allows you to share this email socially if you'd like to, uh, making it public. Otherwise you can keep it private and um, keep others from sharing it. You can also filter down your roster list. So if you have subgroups, you can do that. You can use any of the filter features listed here. Um, there's also additional ones here. You can click on this button and it'll give you more options. Um, so if you just want to email just the females of the group, um, you can do that here. But we're going to have this email go to the whole group. The content layout just uh, gives you a few options and where to put your text and images. Basic, you'll just have one big block uh, for your text and images. They're all kind of just pictured out here so you can kind of have a visual of what it can look like when you're done. Down below, we get to select which template to use. These are set by your administrator, so um, if you just have one option, that's what you'll use. Otherwise, you can select which option you would like. We're going to use the diamond template right now. Click Start Writing. And now we're to the Email Compose page. Be sure to enter a subject that is unique. We've designed this email system so that you get the best deliverability. So it kind of scores you over here based on what you type in, in the subject and preview boxes. So you can see this email is going out to remind people that we're having a meeting on Wednesday night. Um, you can see over here, my delivery score is only six. Um, that's not that great. It's a one to 10 score. So when we click on this little icon, it gives us a suggestion to rewrite this. It says there are major issues with subject and email preview that need to be addressed. Sending it will result in a large number of messages being caught by spam filters. So part of the issue is just that the subject and the preview are all the same. So when the subject here and this preview are the same, that lowers the scores. If they're different, that'll dramatically increase our scores. So we'll erase this. You'll notice that when I entered an exclamation point, my score went down by one point. Spam filters often catch messages with a lot of exclamation points. Um, a lot of times when you, you receive a spam message, things will be in all caps or there will be a lot of uh, punctuation. And these are just little hints to the spam folders that this is not uh, from a real person. So when you're sending an email, try to keep the number of punctuation marks down. So we're going to erase that and just leave it at that because our score is 10 and that's really great. Now when we go down we can see this is the body of the message. I can add a photo here or a picture or a graphic, um, a logo, something here if I'd like to. You just click on the box. If I have something on my computer I can just upload it from here. I don't have anything right now, so we're just going to close this uh, for now. But feel free to add images to your messages to make them a little prettier and make them cohesive. 
the text editor will load when you click on that and you can type as usual here. For the sake of the, this tutorial and the length of it, I'm just going to leave this message short, um, but you can do whatever you want to this text um, just as you would in something like Microsoft Word or your normal email. We can exit out of here and we can see that our text is in here now. Now if you're unsure of how this email will look uh, once it's sent, you have a pretty good idea right here. It shows you how it's going to look when you send the email but you can always send a preview to yourself um, or you can just send it straight to the group. So please let us know if you have any questions. This has been how to send a group email. Uh, thanks for watching.